So, hello everybody and welcome to this uh, Christmas lecture and this is a video response to Kai Hermann's post uh, where he requested or asked people to also use biscuits to explain radiology and that's what we do in today's lecture. So if you haven't seen the post, go check it out here on the homepage. It's a free MSK radiology community where you can get in touch with other crazy people like us and you know we do fun stuff. So these are my biscuits and we will use them now to explain a very important radiology concept. Stay tuned. These are the cookies that I made specifically for these videos and you can see it will not be about some crazy monster but you know can you guess what we are doing today so um, there was one guess that it might be a hip joint but it's actually not the case so let's take these away for the moment uh, we will focus on these two here so what I'm going to talk about is the shoulder joint right and you can see here this should be a representation of a axial uh, MR slice. And so what we are going to do now, let me zoom in a little bit so we can see a bit better. Okay, maybe, maybe like this. Okay. Yes, that should be okay. Okay. So this is the humerus. This is the glenoid, right? We see the labrum, cartilage, labrum, so anterior labrum, posterior labrum, and then the humeral head with some cartilage as well. So the concept I want to uh, show has to do with shoulder instability. And as you know, so normally we have the humerus and we have this nice articulation, right? So what can happen if you get a shoulder dislocation? You know, it goes even all the way down here. So you have a shoulder dislocation. What typically happens is you get some form of a labral tear or bankered lesion, pertus lesion, or maybe let's assume we have an Alps lesion, something like this, okay? So head goes out, you know, then we pop it back in and we have now this situation. So maybe the labrum, goes back or there's some scarring happening, but let's assume it just a few moments here. later. So we have some scarring and what then can happen, you know, uh, this is now weeks or months or years later, we have this missing labrum right here, which can lead to, you know, less mechanical stabilization in this direction. So over the years, we will have some form of, you know, chronic movement or micro instability potentially. No, we know, the, you know, it's not really going out. It might, but doesn't have to really go out. So just something like this, you know, little movements, maybe much smaller than these and the constant, you know, the pressure of the bone or this location, which ultimately will wear out this region of the anoid. Okay. So, and you know, the worse that it gets, the more of this bone will vanish on that side. So I'll just take this away. So you can see the glenoid is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And this further makes the shoulder even more unstable, right? Down to the point where we have missing bone in these more anterior portions, something like this. And the more this bone goes away, well, the less stable the shoulder will be. So this is the normal sagittal shape of the glenoid. And so this would be anterior, posterior. This is the coracoid process, inferior. And what I just demonstrated you is what happens is this. So you can see the anterior portion here goes away and we have this, what's called a straight line. You can measure this, there are indexes, you can use different formulas. And the glenoid kind of like shrinks away, which makes the shoulder more and more unstable. So in this normal, you know, glenoid here, this would result in something like this. And now, not round anymore, but actually has the straight line, just like this one here. So I hope you like this video of anterior glenoid bone loss and you know, I really want you to encourage and go check out the free community portal over on school 
and find other explanations using biscuits uh, to do that. So that's a fun Christmas tradition that Kai Herman hopefully started here and I'm certainly going to see you next year around again. 